Battlefield 2042. This is the first Battlefield game in a long time that's genuinely caught my interest. The gameplay footage that I've shown so far does look pretty fun, but then I started to hear about the issues encountered during the beta, where a lot of people are reporting that the fundamentals are there, the ingredients are there, but the technical issues really get in the way of the experience. And given that the beta was hosted a little over a month before the game's official launch, the concern is that there won't be enough time to fix all of the technical issues that have presented themselves to players, and that maybe EA should consider delaying Battlefield 2042. And you can see from all of the headlines that came out during the beta period just how full of bugs this game was. So this is an article from Tom's Guide from 27 days ago. This headline reads as follows, Glitches and Guns. Battlefield 2042 beta is riddled with bugs, but full of multiplayer promise. So that's the general narrative. The promise of this game, the potential of it is definitely there, but if the technical issues get too much in the way, then it could potentially ruin this game's launch. I try the Battlefield 2042 beta, it plays well, but it's in dire need of extra polish. And then scrolling down, you can actually find a list of things that this specific article as well as many other players encountered bugs and glitches from elevator doors that can be phased through like you're a ghost to camo color parachutes that clip into buildings trees and vehicles not to mention bodies that ragdoll across the map upon death i could fill dozens of youtube compilation videos with all the graphical oddities i've experienced in just a handful of hours the game has also hard crashed on me twice and it is emphasized down here that the sheer quantity of bugs and glitches is greatly concerning just how frequently they cropped up throughout the experience it wasn't every once in a while and a few funny bugs here and there they were disruptive enough and frequent enough that it's causing a lot of concern ars technica's headline reads battlefield 2042 beta impression strong ideas buried in a buggy mess with just over a month until launch dice's latest shooter still needs a lot of work and scrolling down in this article you'll find the editor emphasizing that there is a laundry list of technical hitches and bugs being unable to get past the start menu loadouts including the wrong weapons gun attachments going missing or randomly changing hard crashes substantial performance drops and performance really has been among the top concerns among players i mean this is a first person shooter performance being smooth and consistent is paramount to the experience and that's where players had a lot of trouble with this game during its beta now dice did come out and address some of the feedback surrounding this game as reported by game rant here and scrolling down you'll find a bit where the article notes that dice also addressed players concerns with performance backing up a previous comment by ea's community manager about Battlefield 2042's open beta being a few months old. Now, I do hope that this is true and that by the time the game launches with the latest build, most of the issues will have been resolved or resolved enough that the experience isn't too disrupted. But there's just been an extensive history of AAA publishers and studios saying this kind of thing with rough betas a couple weeks before launch, saying, oh, this is an older build, don't worry about it, only for the final game to come out relatively similar in how technically rough it was. You know, games like Anthem, Fallout 76, Marvel's Avengers, you name it, those were games whose betas kind of indicated the state that those games would launch in, and Battlefield 2042 feels like it's kind of in that same category of games currently, and there's just no magical way to fix so many technical issues within the span of just a couple weeks. Keep in mind the possibility, and I'd like to say even likelihood, given past history, that the game may launch relatively buggy or buggy enough where maybe it's recommendable to wait a couple months before fully diving into this. Now, for me and for a lot of people, what brings down the hope that Battlefield 2042 will launch in a polished enough state is this new trailer hosted on the official NVIDIA GeForce channel where they showed off Battlefield 2042 running on PC with RTX on. And you'll notice the likes to dislikes ratio is not particularly favorable. As for why that is, well, that'll become apparent once you start watching the trailer. There are some significant performance issues here, and if there are significant performance issues in a trailer that launch a little over two weeks before the game's official launch, and it's still performing like this, that's where I become deeply concerned. So let's check this out. Here we go. It's not so bad at first, especially the more cinematic shots. Like, this stuff looks fine, but you'll see later when 
we delve into gameplay, especially aerial vehicles, things start to look pretty freaking rough. And even throughout all this, it doesn't look like the game's really running 60 FPS. I feel like I see a couple stuttery looking shots here and there, or a couple stuttery moments, but nothing too apparent until later on. You'll see what I mean. Right there, look at this. This looks like it's running, look, right there especially. This is sub 30 FPS. This looks like it could, it's running about 20 FPS and sort of fluctuating, which creates that stuttery looking effect. And then we're back to more cinematic shots and some better. And you can see as the aim, as the camera is panning and shifting as the player is aiming, it, it just looks kind of stuttery, like it isn't well optimized. And I'd like to point out that this is a trailer on YouTube running at 60 frames per second, as you can see in the settings here. So if Battlefield 2042 were truly running at a smooth 60 FPS, it would show. It's not the video's fault. Clearly, it is the game's fault in this case. And this is, again, the graphics trailer where you're supposed to show off the best looking and best performing version of your game. And when you can't even do that on the official NVIDIA channel on an official trailer that you had full control over in terms of what it's showing, that is incredibly disconcerting and many people agree. Hence the likes to dislikes ratio and looking at the comments you can see people are in many ways ridiculing that EA couldn't even get the trailer to run at an optimized and well-performing frame rate and also people expressing just concern that maybe this is not a good day one buy. Uh, I like how at some point the performance drops to 30 FPS. I'd say 30 FPS is generous. It definitely looked worse than that at some points. A couple of days later, EA Dice, we separated the development of the trailer from the main game 10 years ago. Everything is great with the game. Trust us. Basically making fun of companies' tendencies to say that, oh, this is months old or however much old. Trust us, the final game's gonna be great, only for the final game to still be in a technically rough state. It's so badly optimized that they couldn't even create a trailer without frame rate drops, lol. And this coming in after the buggy and performance issues ridden beta, it's really, really not a good look. Then we have somebody else saying, when actual gameplay is actual, with FPS drops, stupid teammates, etc. I guess at least the trailer is honest and isn't trying to sell us on a performance that it cannot achieve by most people's PC standards. But still, the better option is to delay the game if, you know, by November, what is it, 19th, I believe this game is launching. The description states November. Oh, November 12th is early access, which is basically on time launch. And then everyone else gets access to it late is how this works. The on-time release of November 12th, that's what I'll consider to be the release date. That's when people will be able to have access to the final game, assuming they purchase the correct edition or whatever it is that they've locked this behind. So basically, this game is launching in a week as of the recording of this video. And if a trailer 12 days before a game's launch looks this rough performance-wise, I cannot say I'm optimistic about launch prospects. Now, maybe if you turn off RTX, then performance will be fine. But I've seen games with RTX on run better, even though, you know, they may be more expansive or even better looking. And those seem to be running fine in their trailers. But in the Battlefield trailer, which is also, again, a first person shooter where frame rates are paramount. This kind of showcase is just not going to do marketing any favors. Other developers seem to be able to get their games running on RTX with full frame rates looking smooth and be able to release a trailer that reflects that with EA, with Battlefield 2042, it just doesn't look like it's optimized enough to make that a possibility, even for the developers, which is kind of crazy. So I guess you either want to play with RTX off, and even then you never know, there's still no guarantee that even with RTX off, the game's performance will be as optimal as it needs to be, if the beta is any indication. Or maybe it's worth holding off until the reviews come in, until people gauge the technical state of the game, and whether the latest build really is that different from the months old buggy build or whether many of the bugs still persist. And if that's the case, obviously I'd recommend waiting until the experience is patched up and ironed out. A lot of people right now, especially press are under the impression that this is a game that 
would benefit greatly from a couple months worth of delays. And given EA's past history with rushed Battlefield releases, Battlefield 5 especially comes to mind and how disastrously that all played out, even post-launch and just all the checkpoints that they missed in their roadmap and everything. We don't want history to repeat itself, so I hope EA will take the feedback into consideration and delay. Sure, they might miss certain financial guidance for a quarter or whatever, but the long-term success of this game could be greatly bolstered by a smooth launch. This is just something that companies don't seem to understand. And so I guess all we can do for now is keep our fingers crossed and await feedback and reviews on how the final game turns out. But just warning you to keep your eyes peeled, be trepidatious, in case things don't work out as developers say it will with a newer, smoother build if that's actually even real. I guess we'll see what happens. But until then, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and opinions are on Battlefield 2042, whether you're looking forward to this game and seeing all of the feedback surrounding the beta and seeing this latest trailer. Do you think Battlefield 2042 can be fully fixed and ironed out enough by launch? Or do you think this is more of a we should wait before buying this type of scenario. Share your thoughts in the comments below, and to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Young Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Young out.